end. Hey, it's Dave from the Not So Ancient Chinese Secret Show, and today we are going to put on our photographer hat. I am half of the amazing team of DQ Studios. My wonderful wife is the better half. And I am also the maker of Motiboto, which is a software program that allows us to touch type images to perfection in Lightroom. Now, you don't need to have Motiboto to get use out of this video, because what we're going to do is take you kind of behind the scenes and how we think about an image when we're shooting it, and then how we're gonna complete that vision in Lightroom. Here's the before image and here's the after image, after we've retouched. First of all, we should probably talk about this image itself. Um, this is a beautiful image of Sherry and Josh. You guys rock stars. They were walking up this beautiful, I don't know what it was, like a lighthouse? <laughs> and But the thing is with the sky, we want to make sure that we captured all of the depth in the sky so it's underexposed for them who are in the foreground. And for anybody who knows us, we know we love to light things up. Up. So you'll notice that even though our couple isn't lit up, you'll notice the globe is. And this is actually a really giant globe. And we just put a flash low behind the globe so that we had some kind of light there that we could actually work off of and just add a little bit of dynamics to this image. So let's switch over to Lightroom and get started. The first thing I want to do is draw your attention to what matters most in the image, and that is our couple, Sherry and Josh. So how do we do that? I'm gonna brighten them up. And what we could do traditionally, you'd have to move your slider over here and you can drag the exposure. But what I don't like about the sliders in Lightroom is the fact that your eye always goes to this panel on the right, whereas your eye would be better served to stay on your image. And so what we've done, I'm gonna reset that, is we've actually created Motiboto so I can put my fingers on a keyboard and just touch type. So when my fingers are on the F and the J, I can just tap on my K key and it goes up exposure. I tap on my J and it goes down exposure. I can also make faster changes by pressing and holding the shift modifier, just like making a capital letter. So I can press that and press my K. And now I'm just looking at my couple. So I'm only interested in this area right over here. And so I'm gonna bring them up uh, add some contrast with my F key. I'm gonna increase the temperature to warm up their skin tones. And that's about right there. Now everything else is blown to snot and that's not a good thing. So what we're gonna do is use my gradient tool and you could bring your mouse over here and click on the gradient tool. We do have a quick way to do it here. You just press the gradient key and we've got presets that we include with Motiboto. I'm gonna choose the burn heavy and I'm just gonna drag a circle around them and right about there to brighten them up and everything else goes dark. Now, from here, you can change everything as well by dragging the sliders, but I always like to keep my eye on the image. So what we can do is press and hold the control key on the keyboard and I can bring down the exposure and you'll notice that it's only affecting the gradient area and not touching the couple, which is great. I'm gonna bring down the temperature and again, pressing the shift key will allow us to make much faster changes as well. And so that's looking pretty good there. I'm gonna bring up my shadows just a touch right there. And I'm gonna bring down the contrast a bit, uh, right about there. And right now I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna increase my exposure just a bit. And right now I'm gonna add a preset. Ooh, look at that preset. And I'm not quite happy with my gradient here. I'm gonna go back to my gradient. I'm gonna show the toggle by pressing my tab key. And I don't like the feathering there. Uh, I'm just gonna squeeze that just a bit tighter in here and work on that just a touch. I'm gonna to hide that by pressing my tab key again. And I'm gonna bring down the exposure just a touch there. That's awesome, right over there. And we're almost there, except that I find that it's a little bit too blue. So I'm gonna warm up the whole thing just a touch, add a little more contrast. And if you have spots that you want to brighten or darken, just press your brush tool. I'm gonna to dodge a little bit here and just bring my brush. I'm gonna change the size of my brush over here and bring out some of the detail where I want more detail. And what's nice about this is that my eye is always on my image here. Last thing I'm gonna do is just crop it in just a touch. And I wanna get rid of those trees on the edge as well as that little thing on the, 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 the lighthouse or the lookout. And voila, here we go. This is the before and this is the after. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's do that once more without teaching and that way we can actually see how fast we can get this done. So here's the beginning. 
We are going to first bring up the exposure, looking at my couple, and just bring that out. This time I'm going to add my preset that comes with us. This is the outdoor pop, just a bit here. Now I'm going to take my gradient, my burn heavy, do, 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 and bring that down just a bit. And then I'm going to bring down the exposure quite a bit, bring down the temperature quite a bit. And uh, from here, my eye is always on my image, which I love. So I can always just uh, allow myself to vision and complete that vision as quickly as I can. And I'm pretty happy with that. There's a little bit of instruction here, so if I wanted to this time, I'm just gonna use my spot tool and get rid of this stuff here so that your eye isn't distracted. And again, I wanna crop this thing. And this time, just to add a little bit more drama, I'm gonna take my gradient uh, take a burn again, but this time create a big vignette here. And that's a little bit too dark, so we'll bring that up just a touch until I like it. And I'm going to bring down the contrast. And so here is the before. And here is the after. So I hope you found that enlightening as far as how we think about images when we're shooting, as well as how we retouch them in Lightroom. And so if you want to find out more about Motiboto, you can check out the links down below. And before you go, I do have a thought of the day to share, which is this. What you lack in talent can be made up with desire, hustle, and giving 110% all the time. Thank God for that, because I don't feel like the most talented person a lot of the times. So thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream.